I can never settle on a camera angle to do these intros. Well, anyways, welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. And truth be told, my demon selection is still not really at all where I want it, but I am now currently at level 28. And we did recruit Balder the Genma, who is resistant to physical attacks. And that's going to come in play in this next battle. I also got this guy. And we're going to combine him with Jack Frost to make this weird rat thing. I don't know. The point is, we're kind of at this awkward phase with our team where I don't really have all the skills that I want. And our demon selection isn't that great either because we only have so much stock. So for the time being, uh, Kikimura is going to be our next healer. And I really want to change these skills around. She has access to Rakunda, which is pretty decent. Diorama, not bad either. Makaja. And she doesn't have a high affinity with... Ice, however, Ice Fleroma is going to help compensate in that, and yeah, that's honestly not a bad, like, build at all. It is true that we could keep leveling up Jack Frost, and he would transform into a new demon called Wendigo, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of that demon, and it has a physical spread, while I prefer to use magic characters. So yes, we're going to be fusing this demon to help us with the remainder of this dungeon, and please don't let me down, Kikimura. I'm not Kikimura. Be honest, I'm with you. Uh, I think... I think the opposite is true. And also, we can make Pyro Jack, but he's not as good as his brother, sadly. So we're not gonna be doing that. But yeah, I have a lot of really cruddy demons on my team right now. Not exactly sure what to do about them, but I'll figure it out in due time. And oh goodness, there are a lot of demons here. I still don't have access to Estoma, and I really should be getting that. But for right now, we gotta figure out how to actually get to Excalibur. And luckily for us, the Scroll of Guiding will show us the way. These must be the instructions. Yeah, they are. So basically, thrice toward the light, once towards your shadow, once towards the light again. Of course it's some kind of puzzle. I'll stash it with the rest of our valuables. Yeah, so the Scroll of Guiding basically tells you to follow the light. Quite literally, but unfortunately, we sort of need Navarre's help for this segment. So, this can be kind of confusing unless you notice that in this dungeon, the light is coming from different sources. As you can see on my shadow, and I can't really show you the shadow very well right now, and I kind of need to hurry, but basically, the light is in the west. And we just need to keep going the way the light is three times. And I also need to destroy all of these doors. I'm not sure if I need to destroy all of them necessarily, but you know what? We'll just tear them to pieces anyways. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm really... Okay, please don't turn around and attack me. I don't want to waste any more time. Okay, cool. I'm not exactly sure if we need to destroy all of these, but yeah. Now we just need to go to the light one more time. There's going to be a trap in the middle of here. Luckily for us, no demons spawn to make things really obnoxious. But yeah, that can teleport you back. It's kind of annoying. So one more time towards the light. Just keep remembering it's your shadow. And now we need to actually go the direction that our shadow is taking us. And then back to the light one more time. Honestly, I love that puzzle a lot. It doesn't really have to do too much to become engaging. And once you figure the trick out, you're like, aha! And that's really what all puzzles should do. But yeah, we're going the direction of our shadow this time. And then we should pretty much be done with the maze. Not gonna lie, I like it. It's a cool concept. I'm not sure why I like puzzles like this so much. I just kind of do. Whew, made it. I'm in a hibachi grill or whatever's gotta be near. Watch your back, kid. Something tells me the divine powers are waiting for us. There's no way they'll let us take that blade without a fight. Yeah, that's very, very true. Now, to be honest with you, the Northern Lake Hill has a couple of things to offer, but I kind of just want to hurry up and get to the boss. And, bro, can you, can you like, chill? Guess not. God dang. Well, I guess we're going to have to battle this guy. And, ooh, I did not actually summon my uh, fourth demon. Well, it's a good thing I got into this battle. But this is Natataishi Stonka, and we already talked about Dis. I could... <sighs> I really just want to run from this battle, but... Don't think we're actually gonna get it, but I'm gonna try it anyways. And we did. Awesome. So that's a little bit lucky. I just want to make sure that Balder has the max amount of MP going into this next battle. And I'm sure a lot of you are like just getting flashbacks from Devil Survivor 2 or Devil Survivor 1, actually. Because yeah, this guy is not the nicest boss in SMT history. But he's a necessary evil to get people used to the battle. I also thought of bringing along Horkus, but uh. 
Yeah, he's just bad. He has, like, no moves. It's true he also resists physical attacks, but I don't know. He's, like, it's not that great. Balder, in my opinion, is way better for this encounter. But, yeah, if I have any uh, tips, really just bring some people that can either debuff and buff. And come to think of it, I actually might change my party up a tiny bit. Ideally, I kind of want to bring Natataishi first. Since he does have access to this move, Fangbreaker, which would be really nice to debuff the opponent. So I'm going to... I think, yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to put Natataishi in my beginning row, and then Balder can come join a little bit later. But with that being said, it's time to take on the boss of the Fairy Forest. Well, the second but you know what I mean. Look! They've almost found the sword! At last, the pawns arrive. I am Titan of the Divine Powers. I knew you'd come. I'm afraid I can't allow the likes of you to wield how they know how to kill me. You could have taken the sword without attacking the forest. Why'd you do it? I don't need a reason. It was in my way. You burned down the fairy's home for fun? You're a monster! Like I care what you think. The will of the Divine Powers is law. Know your place. I cannot forbid allegiance with the Creator God over the Divine Powers. The Divine Powers will not forgive the Creator. You will not stop me, human. Uh, yeah, I am. Because I'm the main character. Anyways, this is the battle against the Titan, and... Here's the thing, he only uses physical attacks. He has no elemental weakness from what I can gather, so... Really? He's kinda just a pushover, in my opinion? Like, I'll be totally honest with you. If you have buffs and can debuff his attack, the battle's over. It really is, and I'm actually going to skip my turn and let another Makaja go through, and I probably should have saved using Makaja, actually, and instead used those when Balder was in effect, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. His primary way he's going to damage you is pretty much just with Heat Wave, and that's about it. Although, if we keep fang breaking him, he really can't do much, and I need to start using Rakunda instead of Makaja. Because that's a lot smarter. Um, yeah, I'm pretty okay. So here's the thing: Asahi still can fail using Medea, but at the same time, I think we're gonna be okay. It's not too big of a deal that Balder doesn't get access to the spells that we're shooting out because, or actually, he doesn't get a benefit from Rakakaja since he's not gonna take much damage from Titan anyway. So that's not really a big deal. But okay, we got another set of Fang Breaker up. Please don't fail. Awesome. So so far, this battle is going. About how I expected it to. Lunge, ooh, can be deadly because when he smirks, that's when the battle gets a little tricky. Hopefully he's not going to use his... Okay, good. He just used normal attacks. All right, so he was really stupid. That's good. Let's check how many effects we have. And Okay, he's negative and attack and defense. Actually, no, just attack. Pretty much now that Taishi is done here, so I'm going to be swapping him out for Balder. I don't see a reason not to do that. Balder... It's true he only has access to one spell, but it's a good spell. It's heavy light attack. It's pretty darn good for this stage of the game. He has a plus two affinity with it, so it is true he doesn't have a ton of MP to use it, but hey, it'll still do decent damage here. And let's see, you're plus two in that. So now I'm just gonna use one more Makaja. Makakaja, I'm pretty sure is how you say. I always abbreviate unnecessarily. Let's see. Yeah, one more row of Rakukaja, and we should be okay. And our main character has still not attacked. Let's change that. Now, this demon is a ridiculously high level, but it really doesn't matter. And oh wow, we're... Yeah, this, this battle is completely over. Like, I could even, like, get stronger demons and make this even easier for me, but I'll be honest with you, there's just not a lot of cool demons here. And Okay, let's think. I think another Rakunda would be a good idea. Poor Kikimura. She hasn't even attacked one time this whole battle, but... Well, for good reason. Um, let's go for Bafula. And I realize the mermaid is just... She's, like, way past her level of usefulness. But I still can't find anything better to fuse her into, man. It sucks, but... Oh, well. Yeah, we're completely destroying this guy. This is just icing on the cake, honestly. I wonder what buff Navar is even gonna give us. Oh, wait. Another Rakukaja? What? 
Were we not capped out? I'm... Maybe I overlooked something, but yeah, this is gonna do a ton. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it takes advantage of the fact that, uh, the enemy is missing a lot of defense. Actually, its defense isn't all the way down, huh? Oh, it used Rakakaja to get Balder up more. I'm okay with that, although I'll be honest, I probably would have preferred if you didn't. Um, so I guess go for another Makakaja. And yeah, he just flat out can't deal with our damage. I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to do too much, and we're not going to see a dialogue option, but if that happens, it's honestly not the end of the world, and oh my gosh, yeah. I don't think he, this guy even knew what he was getting into, man. 400 damage, oh my gosh, and... Baldur's not doing half bad either. Okay, this is looking pretty darn good. Let's just keep up the assault of our spells. And eventually Titan has to go down. And I didn't even want to use Asahi here, but she's being really helpful. A skill he has access to is Critical Eye, but it's just not that great. Like, honestly, yeah, it can give you access to another press turn if you get a crit, which you're guaranteed to get that crit, but I don't know. I'd just rather attack more. So here's the deal here. He's just bluffing entirely, and if you continue to attack him, he's just going to get a sudden boost in resolve, and Realize he has to take you down, so just keep your weapons up and you'll be fine. Actually, it kind of is, since you're bleaking red and we have all our buffs up and you kind of don't. Yeah. Goodbye, Titan. S see ya. See you in the cathedral. You really sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure they don't really care whether you're alive or dead. We did it! Let's get Amina Kuzit or Excalibur! Fine sword. More worthy of my scabbard, but you can have it this time. Another quest completed. Yay, we did it. We got the... What did Asahi call it? <laughs> I don't even remember the name she makes up for this sword, but they're so stinking funny. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to start leveling up agility now because, to be frank, I kind of need my moves to hit sometimes. But 22 for level 29 is good enough, I guess, and, well, if they start to miss, I could always just stack Suku Kaja, and please, someone get something useful. God dang it. Whatever. Hey, how are things going? Nozomi, we found Excalibur! Good work. Glad you're all safe. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Managed to get the fairies someplace safe. Hmm. You've certainly livened up. Well, being down doesn't get you anywhere. All right. Let me walk you to the forest entrance. Gee, Nozome, it's cool that you showed up after we killed the... De Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I guess she'll show us the way back. It's pretty cool, and with Habanero Habagiri, we can destroy this advanced wormwood. Cool. Wait, what? I'm slicing it with my sword, but it's not open. Oh, I'm pressing the B button. You gotta press A. Yeah. So let's use uh, the habanero, and I love the animation. Seriously. I know there's not a lot of them, but the animations they use in this game are really fluid. Nozomi, wait. I'd like to address the group. Do 
you know what the divine powers hope to achieve? Something about salvation, right? And do you know what their salvation is? Now that I think about it, no. They wish to take over the universe. What? Why? The Creator God shaped this universe, but only after defeating us ancient deities. I suspect the Divine Powers seek revenge by wresting control of the universe and claiming dominion over the humans. And what happens to us? I am, of course, not privy to their plans. But I think we can safely assume that... Humans will die. They plan to destroy this universe and take its souls to a new one they control. But without souls, your bodies will die. How is that salvation? No one could possibly want that! The Divine Powers are projecting their own desires for a fresh start onto humanity. Are you not one of the Divine Powers yourself, Doctor? Please, Mother. I haven't truly joined their ranks. How do you mean? They're just another set of pieces in a much larger game I'm playing. After they create a new universe, I will take it. Then, I will regain my true form. This is worth sacrificing the world for. Of course. The inescapable truth under all life's lies is that this universe is worthless. Gods, demons, humans, Buddhas, praetors. I will wipe everything from existence. That's horrible. Are you insane? If I am, I've been so from the beginning of my existence and will be to the end. To think that I could give birth to such a horror. Yes. Perhaps the Creator God holds humanity back from its full potential. As Krishna said, slaves to their own bodies and prisoners of this universe. But it's still life. This world is one of beauty, blessed with bountiful nature and wonderful creatures. It's worth working together to protect. Agree to disagree, my foolish mother. Ignore her, my god slayer. Relying on others is a joke. Let go of all that. Break free from the shackles of humanity and become more. Become something that shapes the world. I will help you reach true freedom in a new universe untethered from dependencies. So you play with him like a chess piece, solely to win your little game. Game? This is something he chose. Accepting death or resurrect as my god slayer. Though I suppose it's up for debate whether he truly had a choice. <laughs> What are you talking about? Accepting death? Resurrection? Are you saying Nanashi? Yes. I'm afraid he's not quite human. Not anymore. <gasps> no longer human. Not angel. Not demon. He is my puppet. A puppet? Nanashi, you... You're dead? Day might come, my son, when I have to put a stop to you myself. A slave to the status quo like you could never hope to best me, mother. Let's just hope that day never comes. You're sharing your body with a real pain in the ass.
You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm crying. You're still the same, right, Nanashi? You haven't changed any. All this gods and demons stuff. I never thought it would change us. And now here I am, learning that you've died. That you aren't even human anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. Nanashi's alive! He's right here! Why? <laughs> Come on now. Don't cry. It's okay. Everything will be okay. He's still himself where it matters most. No matter what he's become. You've known him your whole life, right? If anyone could tell he's changed, it'd be you. So please, don't cry. <laughs> About what Danu said earlier, she and I share more than just my body. I agree with her about the divine powers 100%, and that Dogda's ideas are dangerous. But what does that mean for Nanashi? Are you saying you might have to kill him? Well, I don't know. I suppose that's the worst case scenario. <gasps> but that's why you should take me with you, to make sure that doesn't happen. We need to work together. Keep this universe of ours safe. And while we're at it, we'll make sure Dogda doesn't steer you wrong. <laughs> the more the merrier. A fairy queen's got certain obligations and responsibilities. That means getting to the bottom of this. Gotta make sure the forest stays safe. Ain't no one gonna hurt the fairies. Not on my watch. Well, best be on our way. Well. That was... Kinda crazy. I did not think we would learn that much about Dagda. All at once. That he's... Yeah, a little bit on the crazy side. He literally wants you to sacrifice everything in this universe. Just so we can get his form back? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I guess we're his god slayer, but as long as he doesn't do anything too drastic, I guess we can keep going along with him. Uh, as if we have a choice. Hello. So, now you understand how Dagda and Danu intend to reshape the world. Dagda wishes for absolute freedom of his own creation. Danu wishes to cultivate a freedom with others. They may not agree with each other. Still, their ideals are in opposition to both the angels and the demons. Both ways are the middle path. But there is more than one path. Walk your own. I'll be watching over you. No matter what. Who is that? No clue. Just know his name's Steven. Right. Well, guessing won't get us anywhere. Well, let's just put that mystery on the back burner for now and get out of here. Yeah, that'd probably be for the best, but now that we got the sword, where do we go next? I'm honestly not too sure. I mean, the next quest. Oh. Well, I guess that was solved pretty easily for us. First step is to swing by Kasumi Gossipy for more info. Lead the way, Nanashi! And don't worry, I will. In the next episode of Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse and Credit Snip and Rock. Yeah, I kind of wish that wasn't there, but yes, that is sadly all the time I have for today. Eventually, we will alleviate our issue of having really, really not that strong demons. 
and maybe the next area will actually help us out a bit. But for the time being, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and hey, maybe I helped you get through that forest. But our work is never done, and in the next episode, we take on the next mission. So see you guys then. Bye.